how's it going, everyone? This is amateur meteorologist Cameron Fry with your Valentine's Day 2015 weather briefing video. As promised yesterday, I'm here to deliver important news regarding winter storm Octavia. Now, for those of you who are like, well, who slash what's winter storm Octavia? Well, it's the imminent winter weather system that's going to impact us tomorrow night into Monday morning. Now, I know that a lot of you have questions regarding timing of impact, how much snow slash ice accumulation we're going to receive, not just uh, with winter storm Octavia. Uh, impacting us for the next 24 to 48 hours, but also beyond that because we have several chances of snow in the extended forecast. Well, I'm here to answer as many of your questions as possible, and I'm going to post this video uh, shortly, so feel free to add questions and comments uh, to any concerns you have regarding uh, the weather this week. We'll start off looking at a vorticity gif. This is showing what's happening at the mid to upper levels. Uh, we see the trough digging from the northwest to the southeast, but also picking up the energy around Baja California. It phases with the trough that's digging, so that's going to be a, a key mechanism in delivering the snow for our area. If we look at the uh, 12 the GFS, which just came out a couple hours ago, we see here we are um, just 24 hours out. Nothing happening yet, but you can see um, some energy getting set uh, you know, to our south and west, that low is scooting across the lower plains. You can see a precipitation starting to break out as the low pressure system becomes more defined. We have um, some snow in western Kentucky, a mix in central Arkansas, and it's moving in our general direction. Um, you can see the, uh, the cold high uh, to our north and east uh, in Ohio, and we see about 42 hours out, snow starting breaking out in Middle Tennessee. Um, looks pretty heavy, southwest Tennessee. And that high over Ohio is, is key as it delivers colder air in our region as it joins with the moisture. We also note as we approach 54 hours out between 6 and 12 on Monday morning that this is the time frame for the heaviest snow to fall. Moderate to heavy snow at times for almost all of Tennessee and southern Kentucky. And then 60 hours out, you know, Monday afternoon, it starts to wind down from middle Tennessee, but it pushes eastward, so Knoxville, Chattanooga, that's going to be your main time frame to see snow wall. Northern Alabama, Huntsville, and, and Georgia could see some freezing rain sleet accumulation. A little bit more tricky there. Now, let's look at some snow total maps, assuming the 10-1 snow liquid ratio. Uh, according to GFS, uh, the heaviest snow stays to our south and west, but still, for our area, we're talking 4 to 6 plus inches of snow. The 12 Nam, even more impressive. Um, now, the, the Nam has a cold bias, so you're seeing some unrealistic snow totals uh, in northern Georgia and the Carolinas in the Appalachian region, and it's not going to be that intense. Uh, you know, it, it's highly doubtful any place in the southeast sees 10 plus inches of snow unless you're high from the Appalachians. But the CMCs, uh, you know, same general sense. I think we'll see some heavy snow totals in, in southern Middle Tennessee. Uh, but really for all of us, a general 2 to 4 inches of snow with locally higher amounts. Now you can see the 12Z Euro, which accounts for total snow accumulations a week out, you know, it, we're, according to this map, we get destroyed with a bullseye right over Middle Tennessee and the Cumberland Plateau. I don't think this is right. I don't think we're going to be measuring the snow in yardsticks. But I think that the general axis for heavy snow is correct. Now let's move on to the 12 CGFS buff kit data, the, the Cobb breakdown. You could see not as much snow, just, you know, maybe three inches total here, which sounds about right. But you could see with the temperatures, um, Clearly, whatever falls is going to be in, this, in the form of snow, and wherever starts to fall will stick. WPC maps, the Weather Prediction Center probability maps, it shows a 90% chance of one inch of snow or more for our area, Middle Tennessee, and then go down to two inches, the probability for, for that amount or higher, 80%, so still in good shape. Let's go down to four inches, 60 to 70% chance. This is pretty, you know, pretty awesome, guys. I mean, a pretty decent chance we're going to see our heaviest snow fall since 2010. You go down to 8 inches or higher, 20 to 30% chance. I mean, that's realistic, guys. Let's see what the guys at the National Weather Service in Nashville think. They're going with 3 to 4 inches, a general swath that cuts along I-40, with Memphis seeing more 1 to 2. Chattanooga, uh, maybe 1 to 2 inches for you. Um, some heavy or snow troubles down south of Tennessee as well. Uh, timing, when will it start? 12 to 6 p.m. Clarksville. Uh, 6 to 10 for Nashville Metro and, and Williamson Counties, and then after 10 uh, for the Cumberland Plateau. Um, this is moving from the northwest to the southeast generally, so uh, if you look northwest, uh, you'll see it earlier, and further southeast you go, you'll see it uh, probably overnight on Monday. But I chose this map because I'm in pretty good agreement with, with it in terms of timing.
Now, in addition to the snow, we're going to see very cold temperatures. The winter storm watch that you see on the right, that's valid from Sunday evening to Monday evening. The wind chill advisory is going to kick into effect first. You see from 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. wind chill values from 10 to negative 10. 0 to negative 10. So, even though the temperature will be warmer than this, the feel-like temperature on your skin will feel below zero most likely. So very cold. Make sure to bundle up when you head to church. There's not going to be any snow on the ground when you head to church on Sunday morning, so that's good news. Now we look at the extended as issued by the National Weather Service in Nashville. We have multiple chances to see wintry precipitation this week. Uh, high confidence in the 2 to 4 amount uh, for Sunday night into Monday night, but less confidence as you go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, where we can see a rain snow mix on Tuesday with a little bit more warm air. Uh, warm air infection involved in the mix, pun intended. Uh, some light snow on Wednesday and Thursday. I don't think there'll be big deals, maybe an extra half an inch or inch on top of the snow pack that's left. So whether we get two inches of snow, four inches, or six inches, the point is it's going to be very cold. We can at least say we have high confidence in that, with highs in the 20s and 30s every day this week through Friday. And then check out those lows, single digits Wednesday and Friday morning. Wow. With wind chills below that, it's going to be very cold and messy this week as we get several waves of energy rolling down the, the trough axis. Uh, from the northwest to the southeast delivering those reinforcing shots of not only the cold but also the winter preset most likely snow when it happens. All right I want to turn my attention to some of the questions that some of you have posted on my wall so let's get right to it. Rob you had a question about the storms impacts in Chattanooga as you're heading down that way for work. I would say as soon as possible would be ideal. I mean the snow is going to start falling here in the natural area probably nine ten o'clock I guess I'm just uh, going off information the data that I have right now. It could uh, slow down. It, it could arrive later. I think generally for Middle Tennessee, um, as we're winding down for bed, overnight hours is the best chance for snow. Of course, Chattanooga, you get it later because the storm is moving west and east. Uh, so I would say as far as Chattanooga itself, they're looking at late morning, early afternoon hours, maybe into the evening there. Uh, so if you want to beat it, you probably need to leave at some point tomorrow. Uh, for the 8, 9, 10 o'clock time frame. And then everything will wind down Monday night to Tuesday morning. So I think Tuesday morning is doing commuting. I don't see any huge travel impacts at the moment, but I'll keep you posted. Uh, let's see, Roberts, you had asked about how much. Well, I know, you know, I would set the over under three and a half. I think three to four is a good safe total uh, for the Sunday night, Monday system. However, it's very possible to see more than that, and especially if you extrapolate over an entire week, you could very well see five of the total snow over the multiple waves that come down the pipes. So I think this is really going to be the core of winter for us, no matter how you slice it. Definitely our first decent, floodable snow in many years. Since, in fact, just kind of as some random trivia, the last time we had an official one inch plus snowfall in Nashville property. Go back to February 9, 2011. The last time we had a four inch snow, uh, go back to January 29, 2010. So that's over five years ago. It's crazy about time five. Let's see, I think uh, anyone else have any questions? I want to make sure that I am grateful to get to all of them. Uh, Sherry, you had asked about, you know, will snow stay on the ground by the time you get back from your travel? The answer is yes. And I'm just going by the data I have with respect to the high and low temperatures. Most of the time, like I would say 90% of the time this week, temperatures will be at or below freezing. So, not going to give much time for the snowpack to melt. It'll be a little bit of melting. I know typically around these parts, snow melts in one or two days, but again, reinforcing chocolate the cold air along with some snow shower activity will be the theme. So, I think we'll see some layering where you have uh, maybe half an inch or inch of snow that will fall upon whatever falls in the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, there's still some, there's very little confidence as far as uh, the timing and the QPS totals, but I think the main system will be tomorrow night into Monday morning, uh, maybe maybe Tuesday into Wednesday and then Thursday into Friday. Some, we'll see some minor systems that add on. So, But the point is that we're going to, you'll have plenty of white to come back to from the trip to California, so uh, that's what you get. Um, okay, so I'll. I'll stop it there because uh, time's running out, but if you have any other questions, please, please ask me. You can text me, you can call me, you can uh, post a comment to this video, um, whatever approach you vote best. So in the meantime, I am going to get back to the maps and go back to uh, tracking the storm uh, the rest of the afternoon. So feel free to give me a holler. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great night and a great Sunday, and Godspeed.